One way to really add interest to your rapid texture is to incorporate reliefs into your rapid texture surface. So I'm going to demonstrate that in a couple of different ways here. So in this case, I've created some text and applied a relief to each of them. Uh, in this case, just a, a constant height and I believe it was about a half inch tall surface. So you can see it's not, not too tall, but enough to add some interest to that and so I'm going to create a, a rapid texture panel and incorporate those letters and and the way to do that is to just select the select the reliefs and also select your contour that's going to serve as your seed contour and then get into the rapid texture tool um, in this case I have defined parameters for a 48 inch by 14 inch panel with an overlap of Three tenths of an inch, and that's just to make sure that my tool gets off the edge of the panel. Assuming that I'm going to cut out a 48 by 14 panel, then I've defined parameters for a rapid texture that, in my case, I'm going to use a one inch ball in nose to cut it out. So I can either preview it or not. If I'm confident in, in the results I expect, I'll just click apply and it'll go ahead and create the relief. And I can select that. And if I go to the front view, you'll see that the rapid texture contours have been created incorporating the relief, and then those contours have been moved down into the plate. And so it's pretty much ready to cut. One thing I'm going to do a tiny bit different is I'm just going to lower those contours down to make sure that the tops of them are below the surface of my material. And from there, I can just apply an engraving tool path. So I'll bring that up. One inch ball in mill, give it a depth, and then make sure you click on follow contour. Click OK. And so now the tool paths have been created. Now while that's still selected, uh, it's easy to just click on the grouping tool to make sure that those contours are grouped together and it just makes it easier to select them as a group. You also remember that there's been a rectangle created that I can use for creating a routing offset for cutting the panel out when I'm ready to, to actually cut the thing out. So with those created, let's do a simulation. And I'm going to do a relatively low resolution simulation just to verify things look the way they look. One thing that I tend to do is I define a, a different color than my material color. That way, if something doesn't get cut, I'll see it. I'll see the yellow that will remain after the toolpaths have been cut. So once I have those selected, click OK and get the rendering started. One thing that you can do is you can actually move around during the rendering process to get a feel for how the thing is going to cut out. Okay, so now those toolpaths have cut. You see I've got a nice surface with a nice texture and it incorporates the letters that I had selected. So I get a nice result. It's a really a nice way to get uh, artwork or, or a message of some type into your surface as you cut it out. So that's creating a panel with reliefs embedded into the panel. So now let's look at an alternative method. Let's switch over to a different file that is largely the same with, with one specific difference. In this case, what I did, I, I wanted to create a similar type of relief, but that now when I, when I cut the rapid texture, I want the rapid texture just to be applied to the perimeter of these letters because I'm going to cut the letters out individually. So one of the keys there is I need the relief to extend past the edge of what I'm going to cut out so that my rapid texture has a surface to apply itself to. That way I don't get a sort of a ledge at the, around the perimeter of these letters. So what I did is I just created an offset from the my original artwork and then applied the relief to that. So I offset by three tenths of an inch in this case and created that offset from the from the original artwork. So going into it, first thing I want to select my reliefs and 
I'll select my seed contour. Now I'm going to turn the my original artwork on because I'm going to use that uh, as the definition of the perimeter for the rapid texture contours. So now with the rapid texture tool started, the, the big difference that I'm going to make is I'm going to select these contours to serve as my trim boundary for my rapid texture. Everything else stays the same. Click on apply. And I get these rapid texture contours that have been trimmed to the boundary of my, my original letters. Now remember I had an offset of three tenths of an inch defined and so so the contours were extended past the, the edge of my artwork. So again the next step is to move my contours down just a tiny bit, get them selected, zoom in, and now I'm just going to move them down a little bit further into the material. You see that the, the contours have been moved down into the material. I just move them down a little bit more. Click on the engrave toolpath and apply those. Group them just to make it easier to keep them together. And now I'm going to get back to my top view. And essentially I'm ready to cut. Now what I want to do is I want to select these and then let's render it and see what it looks like. So with those selected I can get into my rendering tool and tell it to use my selected contours as a mask. That will just help make it easier for me to visualize what the finished product is going to look like. So now reliefs have been created just for those selected contours. I can turn that on, get the rendering process going. Okay, so now I've got my individual letters that have that texture applied to them. So it's a it's a great way to put a rapid texture directly on a graphic, in this case some simple letters, but it could be whatever graphic you wanted to use. It could be a sign background, it could be a logo, whatever is appropriate for for the piece that you're wanting to design and cut out. So that's demonstration of rapid texture both on a panel and on individual reliefs incorporating the relief surface into the rapid texture. Thanks.